Hello there, have you ever thought on how to implement scroll to the last element just like the one you see in a messaging app? It's very simple. All we need to do is to add few things like element ref, view children or view child, tab index and couple of CSS things. So let's quickly scramble a simple prototype messaging UI app. All right, we have a base canvas to start our work. So I do already have a prefab fabricated HTML template to work on this. Firstly, let me add bootstrap into our project. I don't want to make things an overkill for just a small sample. So this will be fine for now. And another div. So this div will be our messaging container. So let me call it as a container and it'll hold our messages, a list of messages. So it'll be, um, let, let, let me call this as message container. So that will be an apt appropriate name for this and a do, which will be a list of uh, messages. So this could be UL and LI. So you can also come up with UL unordered list and a list element. Um, since this is just a normal demonstration, I'll stick with div. So you're free, feel free to use whichever is comfortable for your use case scenario. I'm just going with the div, each message, let it be each, let it be message. And then we'll be having a ng4 directive. So the ng4 will be let message of messages right so yes we are going to iterate through the messages whenever a user sends a message it will it will add to the messages array so that's the idea and all our message we need to show up in a div using an interpolation simple as that and obviously we'll have a class which will be having a badge rounded hill badge and a background of light will make it look nice our text must be dark and it should be padding of three all around the badge yeah that will be fine and let's just keep margin one margin top one and margin bottom one no just in case to test if the top and bottom margins have some one percentage of uh, of space container and it'll be a row let's open a form element so that'll this will be a reactive form and i mean for this demonstration this is just an overkill but i feel it's fine to use things like this a forum message and we will be having a input box so let's wrap that input box these things are missing so let's start implementing our classes we must have messages and for the messages, uh, it's normally it will be an array. So what I feel is let's uh, introduce introduction messages here. So hi, okay, let's have a constructor. And let's have on init, ng on init. And ng after view in it so yeah let's see if this is this throws any area form message does not exist on app component which means we need to declare a form so for that we need f or um message form group so it's a reactive form hence we need form group we need to add that import them so you'll be getting it here and obviously we are building a form which is of just one form control which is our input uh, box so it's a we need a form builder for that so form builder automatically add this good yeah and in the on in it we need to add our form control so this dot frm message equals this dot fb which is our form builder and we are going to create a form group and add assign we're going to assign this 
control, right? This control to our form group. So that way, the template and the component knows um, we are we have attached a form reactive form, and then we can make use of this uh, form group in our in our component. All right. So it'll be a message. It'll be new form control. So whatever that comes inside a form like checkbox, radio box, drop down, select box, and uh, input text area, you know, you can create something like this. This is a reactive form approach. You can choose whichever fashion you want for this particular type of demo. But you know, knowing things while you're learning the other things is always a good thing. Okay. And Obviously, you know, in form control, you will be having a couple of um, arguments that you can pass, like um, the initial values or what type of validation you want. You can discuss this more in, in another video where I'll be showing you how to use, how to create a reactive form or how to make use of reactive forms. So for, for now, we are not going to do any validation as such. Let, let's leave it as null for now. So this will work. Yes. Can't be referred. This is a known property of form. And one major piece we missed is we need to add our form group. I mean, we need to add a module to our app. So it should be a reactive forms module. Probably that will work. Yes. So yeah, it started working. I guess it didn't pick up the CSS part. So let me give a full refresh. I mean, hard refresh and see if the CSS kicks in. I need to create a CSS, which I totally forgot. So let me go and create a CSS. We need a CSS only styling only for uh, the container message container, right? A message container with a height of 400 pixels. And obviously our message container will, uh, will have a property of overflow auto so that way we will be getting our scroll bar once the message fills up and just for the aesthetic purpose we will have a border of solid one pixel black and border radius eight pixel so that will do this will be fine for now like we can send a message and then and then populate here the new messages that whatever we send. Yeah, while we're creating it, we need to do ng submit and the ng submit must be an event. So it should be send. Send does not exist on app component. So we need to create a send. So that'll be send. And in here, um, should be, I think for now it will clear our mess our error. So here we can do constant message equals this dot frm message. We are going to capture what uh, the the message the string from here first. So we're going to get the form, which will be a message. So what this line does is it will get the properties from the form from the form control message. And then it will have all the information like uh, uh, what kind of an input, what kind, sorry, what kind of uh, form it is, and does it is it valid or is it invalid or it's it, it has a it, is does it have a value or things like that? You know, we can make use of that. So if I do console log and message dot value, you can see what the things that you have typed here. So if I open a console and type something. You can immediately see it here. So that's how um, uh, that's how we can make use of a form reactive form, right? So it's very very handy. And in large projects, you know, reactive form is the way to go because you will be having forms inside of form and inner forms. You know, you dynamically you might want to add a form, you might want to delete a form um, based on your uh, uh, project requirements. So this is just a start for a reactive form. And next we need to clear once the user, um, once the user enters a message, it sends a message. So clear message dot value, no, 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 message dot set value should be empty. 
Okay, so once you type something and then enters, I mean you send, it will clear. But before that, we need to send the message and you know all all sorts of service calls and this and that. Now we're not going to talk about that. It will be primarily that you'll be adding your message to this array. So simple as that. It will be mm, this dot messages, right? So this is our main messages container array and it will be inside a message container so we're going to just push them push message dot value right there you see whatever we type it just comes in the message but one big fault is this one has um, it scrolls to the top now we need to make them scroll to the last like a chat app so that's the whole video is about so to achieve that um, we need something called ng after we checked right so why do we need this because every time changes happen to this message container um, after the change reduction executes this uh, hook will be called lifecycle hook will be called so uh, first thing we need is a reference a template reference as i mentioned in the start of the video so we need a view child and the view child must be referencing to the message container so i will call them as message container again a message container let me call it as m container because it's too much wordy and it it is of element ref so you all know what's an element ref is it's basically a reference to our dom element we need to add this and the element ref as well okay in the after view checked right so we can do a little trick called scroll top and scroll height so you all know the scroll top is the top of the scroll and the total height scroll height is the the amount of uh, height the, uh, the div has grown so we're going to make use of that and assign a scroll height to the scroll top uh, that will fix all the issue so this dot m container dot native element so when you're referencing a element ref directly a, a dom element you should use native element dot scroll top so we're going to assign native element of uh, scroll height. So this will fix, this will actually make the do scroll to the bottom. Okay. And then uh, we are, we are calling the, we're calling the message container, right? We are, we are referencing that we need to, we need to have a template reference. So let's go to the message container good old angular thing okay so this this is a sign now let's just uh, so if you notice we are scrolled to the bottom like a chat app this is how you will implement a simple scroll to the bottom like in a chat style app thanks for watching this video if you like it give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends if you have a suggestion please write it down in the comments thanks again bye bye